Good afternoon. My name is Gabriel Sterling. I'm the Voting System Implementation Manager for the state of Georgia. And just to give you all a heads up, this is going to be sort of a two-part press conference today. At the beginning of this, I'm going to do my best to keep it together because it has all gone too far. All of it. Joe DeGeneva today asked for Chris Krebs, a patriot who ran CISA, to be shot. A 20-something tech in Gwinnett County today has death threats and a noose put out saying he should be hung for treason because he was transferring a report on batches from an EMS to a county computer so he could read it. It has to stop. Mr. President, you have not condemned these actions or this language. Senators, you have not condemned this language or these actions. This has to stop. We need you to step up, and if you're going to take a position of leadership, show some. My boss, Secretary Raffensperger, his address is out there. They have people doing caravans around their house. They've had people come onto their property. Trisha, his wife of 40 years, is getting sexualized threats through her cell phone. It has to stop. This is elections. This is the backbone of democracy. And all of you who have not said a damn word are complicit in this. It's too much. Yes, fight for every legal vote. Go through your due process. We encourage you, use your First Amendment, that's fine. Death threats, physical threats, intimidation, it's too much. It's not right. They've lost the moral high ground to claim that it is. I don't have all the best words to do this because I'm angry. And the, 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 the straw that broke the camel's back today is, again, this 20-year-old contractor for a voting system company just trying to do his job just there in fact I talked to Dominion today and I said he's one of the better ones they got his family's getting harassed now there's a noose out there with his name on it it's, it's not right I've got police protection outside my house fine you know I took a higher, higher profile job I get it secretary ran for office his wife knew that too this kid took a job he just took a job and it's just wrong. I can't begin to explain the level of anger I have right now over this. And every American, every Georgian, Republican and Democrat alike should have that same level of anger. Mr. President, it looks like you likely lost the state of Georgia. We're investigating. There's always a possibility. I get it. And you have the rights to go through the courts. What you don't have the ability to do, and you need to step up and say this, is stop inspiring people to commit potential acts of violence. Someone's going to get hurt, someone's going to get shot, someone's going to get killed. And it's not right. I, I, it's not right. And y'all, I don't have anything scripted. This is, like I said, I'm going to do my best to keep it together. All of this is wrong. The Geneva who, who said for Chris Krebs to get shot is a former U.S. attorney. He knows better. The people around the president know better. Mr. President, as the secretary said yesterday, people aren't giving you the best advice on what's actually going on the ground. It's time to look forward. If you want to run for re-election in four years, fine, do it. But everything we're seeing right now, there's not a path. Be the bigger man here and stop Step in. Tell your supporters, don't be violent. Don't intimidate. All that's wrong. It's un-American. I, I don't know what else to say on that front. I mean, these are elections. <laughs> One of our goals was to make elections boring again. Well, guess what? That didn't happen. This is all wrong. It's all too much. And that's, I'll leave that for there. Okay, now, as I said, this will be a bifurcated press conference. Here's the stuff that we want to talk about. Um, we're 
yeah, it's kind of hard to come back out of that. I apologize. There are 91 counties that have finished. This is going to seem really bipolar at this point, I guess, but 91 counties have finished their um, recount so far. And so far, we see no real anomalies. Everything is going along the lines we have expected. So I'm going to read off the list now. Appling, Atkinson, Bacon, Baldwin, Banks, Barrow, Ben Hill, Berrien, Bibb, Bleckley, Brooks, Bryan, Bullock, Burke, Butts, Calhoun, Carroll, Charlton, Chattooga, Clark, Clay, Crisp, Dade, Dodge, Eccles, Effingham, Emanuel, Gordon, Green, Habersham, Hancock, Harrelson, Hart, Hurd, Irwin, Jackson, Jasper, Jeff Davis, Jefferson, Jenkins, Johnson, Lamar, Lanier, Lee, Long, Lumpkin, Macon, Madison, Marion, McDuffie, McIntosh, Merriweather, Miller, Mitchell, Monroe, Murray, Newton, Oconee, Oglethorpe, Pierce, Pike, Polk, Pulaski, Putnam, Quitman, Randolph, Schley, I'm 99% sure it's pronounced Schley, Screven, Seminole, Stewart, Tatnell, Taylor, Telfair, Terrell, Thomas, Tift, Toombs, Trootland, Troop, Turner, Twiggs, Union, Walker, Ware, Warren, Wayne, Wheeler, White, Wilkes, Wilkinson, and Worth. So those counties, and it's 91 of them, have everything ready for their upload. Um, the upload for the December 1st election today, those ENR sites will go live at 4 o'clock. Um, the big counties. I understand Rob Pitts had a press conference trying to refute what I said earlier. I didn't watch it. I don't know what he said, and we, we know what happened, so we'll just go with that. Um, they have 315,000 um, advance in person that they have to do, and they're taking the absentee by mail ones that have to be adjudicated to the English Street Warehouse away from the Royal Congress Center today. Um, Gwinnett is still going apace and still scanning and adjudicating. Uh, Cobb, which we have been told had been done, it was actually they were only done with the election day votes yesterday. Uh, they're scanning absentee by mail now, and the early vote will be done by 7 p.m. tomorrow is their plan. Uh, DeKalb has under 1,000 ballots left to adjudicate, and they have already scanned everything. Um, Chatham is going well. We see no anomalies there. Um, and then for the specific absentee ballot numbers that were requested this morning, uh, accepted absentee so far is 7,017. And we have 924,891 requests in and another 52,602 that are on the absentee ballot portal dashboard for the counties to accept. That's a total of 977,493 ballots, so we're approaching a million. We expect to be there by the end of the week, obviously. And we'll begin to see more of these get accepted because, as I told you all yesterday, uh, all of the advanced voting, or sorry, all of the rollover voting ballots were mailed as of yesterday. So with that, I'll take any questions. Uh, about the threat, a uh, young man, contractor, uh, basically somebody took a video of him manipulating uh, election data off of, the, off of the recount. It was wrong. And then the people started accusing him of treason. They started hanging things like a noose up saying, you know, this is treason, you're, you're, you're going to pay for this. It's, he's just a contractor. And now he's got a, he's got a name. I'm not going to say it to spread the name more. But it's a unique name, so apparently they've tracked down family members and harassing them as well. Uh, I do know that Gwinnett PD has been contacted. I believe the sheriff's office as well. I don't know if we talked to the GBI yet, but I'm sure at some point in the near future they already have been or they will be soon informed about the details of this. Justin. Well, this goes back to a couple of things that we've talked about as part of our elections package that 
if the secretary's office is going to be continually blamed for counties making mistakes and failing their voters, at some level we need to have the power to fire people who are in the way of this, similar to have in other states. And this is one of those where they've continually failed their voters. We saw the issues in Spalding County on Election Day. They didn't follow procedures properly. They didn't do it earlier. They basically, then they made false claims that they got a phone call of people saying that the stuff had been uploaded, that they later recanted. I mean, the, the, tr the trust in that particular office has been undermined. I believe all the local elected officials and local state officials agree that this person needs to move on to find a, a different kind of career. But this goes back to the fact that this office needs to have the power to deal with these things instead of having to call for other people to do it just to be able to do the jobs ourselves. Yes, sir. I'm talking about Senator David Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler, two people whom I still support in the, in the election booth, but they need to step up on this particular thing. And that's me speaking as a Republican, not in this office, because I've probably stepped out of line, but I'm kind of pissed. But yes, ma'am. We have said it repeatedly. I mean, it's been pretty clear. They called for us to resign. And frankly, when they, when they called for us to resign, and then the senator, sorry, the president called the Brad Raffensperger, who was a fine, upstanding, lifelong Republican, an enemy of the people, that helped open the floodgates to this kind of crap. It takes people who are already spun up. And, you know, there are people who can be, have some righteous inclination to be angry. But there's also people out there at this point in the social media world, we see what happens. There are some nutballs out there who are going to take this and say, the president told me to do this. Essentially, you have to be responsible. You have to be responsible in your rhetoric. You have to be responsible in your statements. You have to be responsible in your deeds. That shouldn't be too much to ask for people who ask to, for us to give them responsibility. What else? All right, thank Oh, sorry. It's going to look like a regular ENR. You know, we have a banner on the Secretary of State site. It'll say recount results in the top banner. And then you'll click on that. It'll look like a regular election night reporting. But we probably weren't, are going to do that until tomorrow, probably around lunchtime, I think, because we want to get some separation from, because we have two ENRs going up tonight because the Congressional District 5 is a separate election project from the other state elections. So there'll be two different ones going up. We figured a third one might be confusing. They'll be posted. Counties will upload full results more than likely because what they're doing is that everything's coming off a single ICC and they'll probably put them all up at one time. They could post, put them up in parts, but I don't think so. All right, thank you all.